In um, January, BLM issued new guidance about how to conduct oil and gas lease sales. Uh, this guidance makes public participation optional, allows only 10 days for the public to protest a lease sale, and directs agencies to avoid doing any new environmental review, just to name a few things. This takes away flexibility from the field staff to use their best judgment about where, when, and how to lease parcels. I understand under this new process, decisions on removing parcels from lease sales must now be made by the deputy secretary, not the local field or state director, as has been previously the case. All of this is in contrast to the previous memorandum which encouraged BLM to solicit robust public input from before leasing and, and provide ample time for public review. These public engagement opportunities are essential for leasing to be successful and for the government not to end up in a cycle of lease sale delays and litigation. Secretary Zinke, why has your administration taken these steps to limit the public process for oil and gas leasing? Doesn't the public have a right to comment on the development of their public lands? Will you commit to allowing for broader public comment and returning to a minimum of 30 days of public comment or draft lease sales or 30 days to lodge protests? Uh, I will work with you on this issue because I think the public does have a say and a voice. It's their land after all. Yeah. Uh, so public land deserves That's public our review. point here. Yep, and I'll, I'll work with you on it. Uh, the state managers and the state uh, BLM directors uh, have an enormous amount of say. Um, and some of it was consistency. Some of it was, quite frankly, we're behind in a 300, 400, 500 days sometimes in, in workload to, to get a permit out. And this body has been critical of that, so we're, we're trying to be more, more efficient. But I agree with you that the public has a say and should.